Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Mandy. I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning and things that happen in my real life. And today I have an update for panning punk. I totally forgot because I have a headache starting. So anyway, stay tuned for today's video. All right, sorry, I just felt a headache starting to come on, so we're going to try and make this short and sweet. Uh, this is my November update for Panning Punk. This was created by Allie over at Wonder in Allie Land, and I hope she continues to make more videos. Um, she This project started on January 1st and goes until the end of the year. I will probably do my finale next month when I do the regular... Um, my regular rotation, so you know, about this time of the month. Um, we are to work on four to six prompts at a time, rolling style, and when we finished all of Allie's prompts, we could bring in our own. Um, I brought some in uh, anyway, and so let's go ahead and see what I'm working on, what I can roll out, and what I'll be working on for the last month. The first one to work on was the Ramones Rock and Roll High School, and that is a teenage staple. And for that, I brought in eyeliner because as a teenager, you know, you had to have eyeliner. I mean, I forget, I, I think I put eyeliner in every for teenage staple for everything because back then it was like either black eyeliner or blue eyeliner or black eyeliner and blue mas uh, eyeshadow and mascara. I am wearing a blue look today and this is a teal. I didn't even see what this is. This is a um, LA Colors eyeliner pencil in turquoise. I am wearing it on my bottom waterline and lash line today. My goal was to use it five times. I brought it in last month and over the last month I have used it four times. I have one more use to go on this and I think it, it goes well with this look and my hair. Um, So that is going to stay in for one more use but you know hey. Uh, next was the Sex Pistols God Save the Queen. And that is a product with royal titles. After swapping out my Hollow Queen nail polish, which I have used once um, since rolling it out, um, I rolled in Disco Queen Gloss by Medusa's Makeup. My goal was to use it five times. I have used it more than that. Um, I recently have decided to start rotating my... Well, I was rotating through all my lip glosses. Um... I'm focusing more on the ones from brands that are not cruelty-free. Medusa's makeup is cruelty-free, so I won't be using it as much, but I was using it in my rotation. I did use it five times, and like I said, I used it more. And I can't see through it to see where we are, but I'm sure it's fine. I am wearing it today on top of a dark lip liner. Um, it is very glittery, and it has it's a blue glitter with a pink gloss. So when I wear it without makeup... Uh, I get a lot of blue glitter. So that's a, lo a lot of blue sparkle. So that's something to know about that. But it is beautiful and it and it tastes lo uh, smells lovely and um, yeah, it's a great formula. Uh, next is the Misfits Halloween, a horror scary movie or Halloween inspired product. For that I brought in my um, Revolution Makeup Corpse Bride palette, the Butterfly palette. And I brought in the shade Mary the Dead, which is this blue shade right here. As of last month, I had used it three times over the last month. Sorry. Uh, out of the last month, I had used it six times. I've used it one more time, which is today. It is on the outer half of my lid. Um, no, it's sorry. It's on the inner, inner half of my lid. Look, it's on the inner half of my eyeballs today. Uh, I have three more uses to go on that. It's a lovely shadow. I really enjoy using it. I just have have been having too many eyeshadows and don't have a chance to get around to them all, but I'm going to try and work on this a little bit more. It pairs with a, a shadow that I have on the outer half of my um, eye, which I'll talk about shortly. So uh, three more uses to go on Mary the Dead. 
Next up, we're going to switch to the next page. Um, next up is for Bowling for Soups, 1985. Um, and that is a product that didn't meet your expectations. For that, I had brought in my crystal deodorant, unscented crystal deodorant. My goal was to use it 20 times. As of the last update, I had used it 16. I had four more uses, and um, I met that goal and rolled it out. Um, it is just a crystal deodorant. It's like, I'm guessing it's like a block of salt, and you just wet it and apply it, and it works okay as long as there's nothing that's making me super sweaty, and then it doesn't really do its job. Um, but it is my alternate, alternate travel deodorant. Um, and yeah, it was okay. It didn't re really meet expectations in keeping the smell away, but the goal, the uses on that are done. And next for a song I brought in, The Arrogant Sons of Bitches. So Let's Go Nowhere is the song. And the prompt I brought in for that is something that's falling apart. And I brought in my Electric Violet palette. And I am working on shade number two for this project. That's this one right here. I have it in my crease today. And I am working on this shade, this blue shade, in another project, which is what I have on the outside of my look. Um, my goal for this is to use it ten times. As the last month, I had used it four times. Over the last month, I've only used it two more times, giving me six uses total. I have four more uses to go. I have been really focused on finishing another shade in my deck of panning project so if you haven't seen that i will try and remember to link it in the cards somewhere up there um but yeah four more uses to go on this shade as well so i should be able to get both of those done soon and then i have for violent femmes blister in the sun that is an spf product for that i brought in my uh, sun bum spf 50 and my goal was to empty it. I'm amending that goal because it's not sunny anymore and I don't feel the need to keep using it when it won't expire until 24. 24. Um, so I don't want to use it all up right now um, when I don't need it. I have been using it. I've been using it like as a moisturizer, but I don't need to. Um, I did forget to shine the light and see where we're at. So give me a moment and I will see where we're at. Okay, sorry about that. So we are right here. We brought it into the project. We were here, and I think last month we were right here. So we just made a little bit of progress. Um, I was using this regularly when it was sunny out. The sun has gone away. I am wearing long sleeves because it's cold. I'm outside anyway. Inside, I'm warm enough. I'm wearing less. Um, so I don't see the need for this. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. I think I got a good chunk of it used up. I did use it uh, 13 times over the last month which is the most I've used it. Um, like I said, I just was applying it as a moisturizer when I was getting ready in the morning, but I don't want to use it all up just to use it up. So in total, I had used it 26 times. So that was actually like prior to this month, I had used it 13 times, and this month I used it 13 times. So um, I'm going to roll this out, and we're going to call it good. And then finally, for the Ramones, once again, um, it is I want to be sedated and that is something relaxing and I brought in this matte face mask, sheet mask and blueberry repair calming face mask by Beauty Host. I brought this in because it expired and I had it in my collection. It was okay. It wasn't great. It was, it was nothing exciting. It was just a regular mask. I didn't think it did anything particularly but smelled okay. So um, I used this and finished it, so that is rolling out. So let me figure out how many rollouts that is, and um, and we'll roll in some new products. All right, so if you were paying attention, you would have known that was four rollouts. I rolled out the face mask. I met my goal on the lip gloss. Uh, calling this goal met on this and goal met on that. So that's four rollouts this month and three remaining in. I am working on seven products. So let's go ahead and roll in three more. So I don't know why I was working on seven when you're supposed to be working on six, eh, four to six. I don't know. 
But we're going to roll in three more. So let me get this all set. Okay, so I've got my Spin the Wheel app up. And it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine prompts left. I'm not worried about it. So we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel and see what the first prompt I get is. Okay, that is for a song I... I uh, prompt I created and that is by Frenchie and the Punk and it is Steampunk Pixie is the song and the prompt is something that makes you feel magical. Okay. Interesting. All right. And next up. It's one. I'm going to do two more. Okay. That is another one I brought in. That is by Jim Lindbergh, and the song is Palm of Your Hand, and that is Something in a Bottle is the prompt for that. And the last one. Is Bikini Kill. And this is uh, one that was created by uh, Shelly at Unapologetically Shelly, and that is for the song Rebel Girl. And, uh, and that is an item fit for a queen. All right, let me go find those products and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. It took a little bit of thought, um, but I think I figured out the prompts, uh, products I want to bring in for these prompts. So the first one by Jim Lomberg, the song, The Palm of Your Hand, something in a bottle. So I am bringing in my frankincense and myrrh Zum Mist, because this is in a bottle. And I want to bring this into use five times. It is one of my favorite body mists, and I can use it for a room aromatherapy body. And five times in a month is no problem. Just encourage me to use it more. Uh, next is for um, from Frenchie and the Punk. The song is Steampunk Pixie, and that is something that makes you feel magical. For that, I am bringing in this deluxe sample of Dew of the Gods Froze Iced Froze Body Scrub because Dew of the Gods sounds magical. And just look at this beautiful rainbow package. Um, this is most likely a one-time use body scrub, but uh, if I can get more than one use out of it, I will. But my goal is to use this up. And um, yeah, it sounds, uh, sounds delicious. And then lastly, for Bikini Kills Rebel Girl, an item fit for a queen, I am bringing in this guy here, which is my oldest highlighter. All the writing has rubbed off of it, and there's no tag on the back. But it is a real her confidence in my glow. I think, you know, queens are very confident, and, you know, they need to glow. So this highlighter I am bringing in for five uses and... That is what she's looking like. She's got a nice big juicy pan in there. And, uh, you know, five uses will get me a little more uh, love on that. And, yeah, that is it. That is everything for this month's update. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm curious to see if this is coming back next year. I haven't heard anything about it, but I haven't been looking lately. So, um, if it does, I may participate. If it doesn't, I'm sad to see it go, but I'm fat. I'm glad I participated while it was here. Anyway, thank you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe before you leave today. It means a lot to me. I am trying to reach 100 subscribers before the end of the year. And just leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of the project or how your late day is going. Uh, until my next video, take care of yourself. Don't forget to be true to you, and I'll see you later. Bye!